Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to change the color of certain overlays or graphics on pixelpro.io. If you didn't already know, Drusif Design's pre-designed graphics are going to be available on pixelpro.io for free. And that includes pre-designed overlays that you previously had to pay for or pre-designed animated overlays, backgrounds, Twitch panels or stream panels as well as alerts. So we're going to have a huge library of graphics. Not all of them are added yet. We still only have over 150 overlays and backgrounds, but animated overlays and animated backgrounds and panels and everything is going to be added very, very soon. Uh, we are still getting some things set up with Pixel Pro. But today I kind of want to show you some cool things you can do with some of the graphics on pixelpro.io. So I'm going to pick out two graphics uh, to overlay specifically that all have the same hue of color and what I mean by that is is, is this overlay here is all blue completely blue uh, just darker shades and lighter shades of blue uh, this overlay here has this like rainbow kind of effect uh, to it and that's not going to work because there's too many colors going on there could work uh, depending on what you want to do, but it won't work for us. So I picked this blue color and I also picked this overlay here because it's all red. It's just different shades of red, dark, dark reds, lighter reds, but it's all red or white. Uh, so if it's any type of white or black or gray that doesn't have a color in it, you can do this, uh, with, with, um, any of these overlays that have just one color. This, for example, again, wouldn't work because the wood, uh, here is is brown and you wouldn't be able to change the color unfortunately so some of these overlays and graphics it won't work to be able to do this and some of them are already the same graphics that are just changed like this one's pink yellow red green and blue so you don't have to actually change any of the colors if, if you if you want one of those types of colors but if you want an exact color to kind of match your brand a little bit uh, then this is how you do it so let's get out of pixel pro and we're going to go into OBS Studio. And I already have this overlay added. Now, I really like this blue color. But when I'm in a full screen game, I want to be able to have this red overlay uh, on my game. So, or on my main scene. So, uh, as you can see, I downloaded both of these. They are on the desktop. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the scene that I want to add that red overlay. Click the plus sign. Go to image. Click OK. Name it whatever you want. Browse. Scroll down to where we find the overlay on my desktop and click open and just click OK. So that added it to the scene. If it's not the right size for your canvas, just go to uh, right click transform uh, and fit to screen. Uh, and it will hopefully fit to the correct dimensions of your stream, which should be 16 by 9 or your canvas, which should be 16 by 9. So it's either 1920 by 1080 uh, or I think 720 by 1280. Um, but so here we have uh, the overlay, and as you can see, it's 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 red. And we we don't want red because we have this nice blue overlay, and we kind of want it to match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to right click and click on filters, and then I'm going to click on the plus sign and go to color correction. Name it whatever you want. I usually just leave it as default. Click OK, and then you're going to go down. You're going to see hue shift, and if I click this and drag it to the right, we're going to get uh, some blue color because we're shifting the hue again you can if you go all the way across you can you can see you can go from any color basically but we're gonna go for like a nice light blue and it's a little dark so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the or click and drag the saturation uh, and just bring that up a little bit so it's a little bit more colorful and that's what the saturation will do it'll add more color or it'll subtract all the color you can go gray if you don't want any color in your overlay and you just want a black and white uh you can go you can go for a, a, a lot less color or you can go for more color if we go all the way up you can kind of see it's a little too much in my opinion so maybe we just bring that down right about there i'm going to adjust the hue a little bit just to make sure that we are as close to the other color as possible I think that's good. I'm going to click on close. It's going to save my settings. And as you can see, the overlay is now blue. And if we transition between the two of these scenes, it looks like that they were designed together 
with the same color in mind. So that's how you change colors in some of the overlays on pixelpro.io. If you have any questions on how to do this, or if you have any questions about Pixel Pro or Drusa Designs, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll make sure to get to those comments as quick as possible. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this helped. See you later, and goodbye.